Caltrot has restoration projects across the state, but how do we decide where these projects should take place? How can we understand if they actually help fish? This is where scientific monitoring comes in. We work with our partners to gather data on how fish use and migrate through watersheds to better understand what streams they rely more heavily on, where in those streams they encounter problems, and where we should focus our efforts. To achieve this, we use a variety of monitoring methods across California. In the Bay Area, we use pit tags, just like the ones vets implant in your cat, to track fish when they swim over detection arrays. In the South Fork Eel River, we use acoustic telemetry tags embedded in young fish. These send out a ping when they pass a receiver. There's another type of tag, the embedded radio tag, that we're using to detect fish as they migrate above the former dams on the Klamath River. There are also less invasive methods we use from the Klamath to Southern California and the Sierras, such as sonar, which uses sound to detect fish even in cloudy water conditions. We also collect water samples to analyze traces of DNA that fish leave in their environment, so we know when they're present without actually having to capture them. But it's not just scientists that can monitor fish. Community members can get involved by documenting fish sightings or participating in volunteer survey programs. While each method collects information in different ways, they all work towards the same goal of better understanding how fish use and migrate through our watersheds. Monitoring fish migration is crucial, yet it's often underfunded and overlooked. Migration matters. Learn how you can get involved at caltrout.org.